And Paul says that God uses our sufferings for good reasons. Now, I don't know why he's using yours. And I don't always know why he's using mine. But it's always for good reasons. He's either trying to strengthen my faith. He's either trying to teach me a lesson. Something he's trying to get me to see that my eyes has been closed to for so long. Maybe he's trying to get me to correct an a action or an attitude. Maybe, maybe he's using it to, to uh, keep me uh, humble, you know, keep me uh, on my knees praying, you know, to keep me in my word, to keep me in dependence upon him so that I won't think. I'm, I'm, I'm on my own and I got this God I don't need you today I'll come back tomorrow if I got a problem but whatever it is God uses our, our, our trials and our sufferings for good reason if you think about Joseph Joseph was one of my favorite people in the Bible if you think about Joseph all the stuff that Joseph went through Joseph hated by his brothers Joseph thrown in a pit, left to die. Joseph sold into Egyptian slavery. Joseph working in Potiphar's house. Joseph accused of being uh, a rapist. Joseph thrown in prison. Joseph forgot about in prison. And he spent all these years. And then next thing you know, God uses his gift. And he's number two in, in Pharaoh's palace. Joseph predicted the the famine for Pharaoh through prophecy. Now, the, 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 the famine takes place and so now people are coming to Egypt for food. Guess who shows up too? Joseph's brothers. Now Joseph had this, had the opportunity right there, is he going to hold a grudge? Or he going to forgive? And, and this is one of the words, and this is the famous words, and y'all heard this before, you heard it in songs, but it came from scripture first. He says, you meant it for evil, but God what? God meant it for good, that we can save people's lives.